All right, so today is another Webflow inspired Elementor tutorial. <laughs> and this is what we are going to be making today. I'm sure you can make this with one or 10 plugins in WordPress and Elementor, but why would you do that to your website? And why not have a little bit more control over what you do in Elementor or WordPress? So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, the first thing we are going to do is add our structure for this container and we have two columns same size and we are going to just eliminate this and this and I'm also going to make this full width and also eliminate any padding I am going to drag in an image and will remove the padding and I will add one image in here and let's add this one we are good to go in here let's add our heading and I want to set this to be at the center. What I'm going to do is basically style this and we have this color saved already. And I also have custom fonts added. Where are my custom fonts? All right, this is the custom font that we are working with today. And I'm going to give this a rem size rem of let's change the text to something i think it was chapters and change the size i am also going to change the color of the background of container and let me go to my colors i forgot to save this as a global color and background we are going to go here and change this and we have a nice background now so next okay it's looking good honestly i don't know why this is happening why i, I always have a margin at the top it's annoying so i'm just going to for the purpose of this video just do this and i have to investigate what is happening and i think we are good let me just update and i think i think we have an issue with the image let me go to the container oh yeah one thing i forgot that it's weird because I always do this. Uh, I'm going to set this container to have size of 100 VH and this image as well, 100 VH. Of course, we are going to set this as cover and now it is looking normal. All right, all right. So we are going to add another container in here and I'm going to add a heading and this heading will let's just leave it like this for now and i will set this container to horizontal because i want to add something else here let's duplicate this and just basically do this all right and i am going to style this what am i doing i'm going to style it give this orange color that we have uh for the chapter up here and typography i'm going to obviously change this to our custom font where is it normal and rem and this is too big i think this should be fine and i'm going to change it to uppercase maybe smaller than this oh yeah should be fine all right copy and paste the style and i will duplicate this container it's all about making our lives easier right We have this image and we are going to give this image a class, but not yet. We're going to be adding an HTML element and this HTML element will contain our, our script. And I'm going to copy the script, including everything 
that I have added to my code. And by that, I mean the source of the image. And also I have added animations. I tried to make an okay animation. I'm not sure I succeeded necessarily, but for now, I think it has to work. I might do something in the future with this, try to make an, a better animation, but until then we're stuck with this. Okay, we have our HTML. And of course you will find this script in the description below and if you have any questions as always please drop them in the comments and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible all right in the meantime i will explain to you what we have to do in order for these images to show once we click on the text obviously so first of all we have to have our images in our wordpress media gallery so what i will do is I'm going to go to my media and as you can see I have the images here so what you will do is basically copy the URL to your clipboard or whatever copy it and you will go back into your code and you will add the image right here where it says const img equal sign blah 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 and you will repeat this for every image that you have in this list yeah so I have one, two, three, four images. What I'm going to go do now is I'm going to open this in preview and I'm going to hit inspect. We are going to inspect the elements that basically will complete the task of switching between images. All right, so go here and as you can see, we have an H2 element and the element heading title and class and then element, element or size default. We want for this image to change, not only when we click on the H2, but when we click anywhere outside the H2 and the H2s basically. Yeah, so if you click here, then the image would switch. Or if you click in the middle here, the image would, would switch. So we want to target the div, okay? So we are going to get the class of the div. Let me just, if you, if you click on it, let me just do it again so you see it in case you don't say you don't know how to do this so you click on this and it will be highlighted right here in the code so what we need is basically this class elementor element blah 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 this is the code for this image the class okay so we copy this and we go back to our code and we are going to add it right here so that's the second thing that you have to change for this to work and i'm going to do the same for all the images and i'm going to come back with the next thing All right, so we updated our changes and as you can see, we have something else here, the classes that actually trigger this change. We have to change this in our image. So what we are going to do is basically go back to our image and add here the CSS class of toggle IMG because without this, nothing will happen. All right, let's see if this is working and it is okay it seems like I had the same image which is weird okay let me go back in my media and I'm going to change this let me just update this and don't ask me why it is doing that thing so this is the first image second third and fourth all right another thing we have to do because as you can see since this is actually not a link you cannot see the cursor as a pointer and we want that because obviously that's a much better user experience and if people don't know that this is a link or something that they can click on then they will ignore it for a good and optimal user experience we want the whole container to be shown as clickable in one way or the other and for this purpose we are going to have a cursor pointer on this container right a lot like this so no matter where people click 
they will be taken to where they have to go, right? Not like this, for example, clicking on the heading only or on this number here and only then they will be understanding that actually that is some sort of clickable thing. This is the code that will actually make this container be shown as clickable. So I'm going to just add the right uh, CSS class. And as you can see now, it is clickable. So what you have to do is basically do the same thing everywhere. You don't have to add the code necessarily. So let's just, let me just uh, comment it out. And as you can see, it still shows that is clickable. So you will do the same thing for each container Add this class and this class only and nothing else. And everything will work as intended. All right, so we had a little issue with our image. The image was basically, let me just remove this because that's, that was actually the problem. So as you can see right now, the image has some space in between, yeah? So we have to make this image 100% with and it's going to be showing from side to side in the column that is placed in. Voila, now it's working and it looks really good. And as you can see here, I added a border and for that you go to basically the image and uh, go to advanced and just and add a border if you want. But I think it looks pretty good and especially when you're switching between images, it's looking good. Let's see. I think it's pretty interesting. Okay, okay, so what we wanted to see is if this is working properly on the mobile. Right now, I would tell you that it is not mobile optimized because as you can see, it's looking pretty bad. As you can see, this wrap button is not clicked. So if I click it, now everything falls into place as it should be. Yes, I also changed all this accordingly, but this is up to you. And it also depends on how much text you add here to make it as nice as possible and as well on mobile. And it's looking pretty good, right? And if you'd like to see what else you can make with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.